Sporty greetings. I'm VOA Sonny Young. Welcome to another episode of The Sports Box. I'm joined by three of my VOA colleagues and NFL experts. We head into the second round of the National Football League playoffs. Let's go game by game. The first game on Saturday, the New England Patriots will host the Baltimore Ravens. How do you see that game, Tony? Well, New England's here again, aren't they? We left them for dead very early in the season after they got blown out by Kansas City. They end up with the one seed. Everyone talks about their weaknesses. Do they have a number one, number one option? Can Rob Gronkowski stay healthy? Who's going to be their number one running back? All these questions every year. Doesn't matter. Always the one seed. The Ravens, on the other hand, always questions with them, too, at the quarterback position. Everyone says, is Joe Flacco elite? Is he not elite? What's, what Joe Flacco is going to show up for this game? I think that's going to determine a lot of what's going to happen in this game. Everyone knows how New England's going to play. How is Joe Flacco going to play? How are the Ravens going to play? Are they going to show up? Are they going to hold on to the ball? Or are they going to turn the ball over? I think that's going to be a huge story in this game. Well, Tony mentioned Rob Gronkowski. Uh, he wasn't there for the last playoff game between the Ravens and the Patriots in 2012. He's back. I mean, he's the X factor in this game. The guy's just a monster out there. He's uncontrollable. Brady will have him the whole game. Also, the Ravens win over the Steelers this, in the first round of the playoffs. The Steelers didn't have Le'Veon Bell. I mean, that was a major factor in that game. So the Ravens are going to have a lot more to contend with against the Patriots. Park, what impact will the uh, Patriots' bye week have on their performance? Well, you know, a lot of people wonder if that does affect how the teams play. The teams that have played the first week always get a little banged up because those are tough games. On the other hand, you know, does that week off hurt those who, who don't stay in, in game form? So I'm not sure necessarily that's going to be the case. These are two teams that battle one another hard, and I think it's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a close game. Okay, let's go to the second game on Saturday. The Seattle Seahawks, the reigning Super Bowl champions, will host the Carolina Panthers. Mike, how do you see that contest? I think this game is going to be a lot closer than people think. I mean, Carolina, 7-8-1 and one in the regular season. Of course, the Seahawks defending Super Bowl champs, 12-4. and four. But the uh, Panthers have given the Seahawks fits the last three times these two teams have played. The Seahawks have won all three, but only by an average of four points. Two nasty defenses, two run-oriented teams. I think, though, uh, Seattle is a very difficult place for any team to play. Russell Wilson, he can be uncontrollable at times. There's your game right there. I don't know, Mike. I think that it, it looks like a mismatch on paper, doesn't it? I mean, Carolina's got a lot of talent, but they certainly don't seem to have as much talent as the Seahawks. Of course, Seahawks being a former Super Bowl champion. But I, I think it's a mismatch. I think it's a mismatch on paper. I think it's a mismatch on the field. And, um, and also, Sonny, it's very difficult for any team to win in Seattle. That's one oh of yeah. the best home, home right. field advantages of any team in the NFL. Carolina the, the does Panthers have a lot of proof. The Panthers are a hot team right now. And you know, Park, the team that gets hot, in the NFL playoff toward the end of the regular season and in the playoffs, oftentimes that team advances. I'm not saying the Panthers are going to advance, but I think they're going to give the Seahawks a fight in that They've game. They've got a lot to prove. Let's go to Sunday. Green Bay Packers against the Dallas Cowboys, two of the traditional NFL teams. What do you think about a that game? Great part? matchup, Sonny. And of course, I think the Cowboys and even their fans have to feel a little fortunate they're in this game because it was a very controversial call right. in their playoff game last weekend against the Detroit Lions, where I know the Lions fans feel they got robbed on a, a pass interference call that was made and then taken back by the officials. But now that they're there, Tony Romo has proven the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys that he's, he's game on. He's, he's had some great games this year at quarterback and then he's facing another great quarterback in Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers and this week of course they always call it the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field in Green Bay and that's they're getting incredibly cold weather this week so it could that could have an impact on the game as well I what, think that's what about tight. hot teams Cowboys have been pretty hot lately they are hot and they are 8-0 on the road as well but according to the Park's point about that atrocious call in the opening round against the Lions I mean the Cowboys are very fortunate to be there right now I I think they're going to have a tough time with Aaron Rodgers in that game. And also Lambeau Field is a very, very difficult place for any opposing team to play. But, um, I mean, the Cowboys have weapons. Tony Romo is an elite quarterback right now. Uh, Des Bryant, but... Last game of the weekend, Denver Broncos at home against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, the Broncos uh, got crushed in the Super Bowl <laughs> last year. What do, you like, what do you think about this game, Tony? I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like you wouldn't think Peyton Manning has a lot to prove, would you? I mean, he's proven about as much as you can prove as any quarterback has in the league. But 
I, I think that coming into this game, I think that Denver is by far the better team. I think defensively, Indianapolis has a little bit of a uh, personnel problem and a matchup problem, which, hey, Seattle did too, theoretically, and we saw how that turned out. But regardless of that fact, I think Denver's the better team. I think Andrew Luck's going to have some problems with the Denver defense. And Andrew Luck, of course, a young quarterback in the league, but here he's got the Colts uh, uh, to a position where he is going to face a quarterback that used to, who was a star when he played with the Indianapolis Colts. I, I right. love this matchup. It's, right. it's, it, it really is going to be a very interesting game. I, I just want to add, what I think this game comes down to is, are the Colts, is their offensive front going to be able to control Denver's defensive line? Denver had like 41 sacks in the regular season, one of the top teams in the league, and the Colts' O-line is banged up. I mean, Anthony Costanzo is the only guy starting right now who's been there the entire season. So are they going to be able to protect Andrew Luck? I think that's a major question. Okay, let's make some picks before we wrap things up. And uh, we'll start with Patriots, Ravens. Patriots. Mike. Patriots. I think I have to go with the Patriots as well. All right, I'll make it four. Patriots. <laughs> we like Baltimore. Baltimore is just up the road, and they, their coach said they have the best quarterback in the league, but, you know, <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to do it. Seahawks, Panthers. Seahawks. Seahawks. Uh, i got to go with the Seahawks, too. The def reigning Super Bowl champs, they've got it all again. All right, I'll go with Seahawks. We'll make it four. <laughs> Packers, Cowboys. Packers. Packers. I think I have to go with the Packers as well. I'm going to change things up. I'll go with the Cowboys. All right, we'll see. <laughs> All right. And the last game of the weekend. You must be friends with Jerry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Broncos, Colts. I'm going to go with the Broncos in a squeaker. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm with Tony. I think it's going to be a really close game. I'm going to take the Broncos, though. Uh, I think I have to as well. Peyton Manning's been there before, got the experience, and, uh, again, the home field will help out. Okay, I'll go with the Broncos. So uh, that's all the time we have for now on the Sports Box.